Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're having a great day so far. I know I've been kind of MIA lately. I um, had a huge problem with my beauty room. The, there was water damage in, this, in the roof, so um, this has been a mess, this room, and I just could not get inspired to film um, with this room upside down. But I decided I wanted to do it today, sit down and, and share with you something um, that I think is really important and I think a lot of us struggle with. As I've gotten older, my um, pores have gotten significantly larger, and I have tried so many products over the over the years, um, trying to find something that will you know help reduce the appearance of the pores, reduce the size. Although they say that you, we really can, we can only shrink them somewhat. We cannot. Um, you know get rid of them entirely once they're there they're there to stay all we can do is kind of like um, damage control so I have uh, come across I have put together the products that I've been using that I find have been really really working for me and helping uh, the appearance of the large pores and so that's what this video is today um, if you're new hi my name is Nancy welcome I hope you decide to join the family and stick around and uh, watch some of my other videos um, I try to post at least once a week for now because I just started recently and I really am not sure what I'm doing yet, quite yet, but I will get there. Um, but anyway, let's just get started with the video and um, I'm excited to show you these products. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, how we clean our skin. Um, as you know, when you have enlarged pores, dirt tends to get trapped in there, so it's really important. Um, that you wash your face the appropriate way. Um, I double wash. First, I um, at the end of the day when I have a face full of makeup, I'll use a, a cleansing oil first. And then once I rinse that off, I go in with my cleanser, which I've been using for the last year or so, which is Philosophy. This cleanser, it's, it's for dry skin. It's uh, very mild. It has hyaluronic acid and it's a great product. And I use that in combination with the Clarisonic Mia. Mine's a little bit beat up because I've had it for a while. This is a little bit pricey, but I find that when I use this regularly, it does help with uh, shrinking the, um, the size of the pores because it essentially goes in and digs the, the, uh, the dirt out from the pores, allowing them to start kind of shrinking. If we don't go in and clean deeply, then the, the pores are just gonna keep collecting more stuff in there and getting larger and larger. So I do this about three times a week. I don't do it every single day. Um, just the same way that I exfoliate um, three or four times a week with a regular exfoli exfoliator. <laughs> with a regular exfoliator, whatever, whatever exfoliator you have at home. It's also important to do that regularly to get rid of the, all of the dead cells, the dead skin. Um, I didn't actually don't have any recommendations for you in front of me, but there's, I have a whole, you know, list of them that I can, that I can actually list down below if you're interested. Okay, so once you um, finish cleaning it, um, cleaning your face, you, you put your serums, your moisturizers, um, whatever your skincare routine is. And when you're ready to apply your makeup, the, I found two primers that um, are very affordable from the drugstore that perform just as well as the very popular um, Benefit Professional. Um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, most of you have heard about this product. It was, you know, it's been around for a while and it was like the number one uh, product for pore, uh, for pores. And this is actually a mini size. Um, and I stopped using it once I discovered these other two that I'm going to show you in a minute. This, the full size, goes for, sorry, $32, the full size of this, $32. And the two alternative that I found that I like just as, as much, if not better, um, are these two. The first one is Revlon Photo Ready. Um, let's see. Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. And this costs about $7 and you can find it at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens. And this, uh, it's the pink one. They have, I think, two or three different colors. If you're going to try this product, make sure you try the, the light pink one. This is the one that's really good. It's about $7, like I said, so a third of the benefit professional. Um, and this is 
a really really nice product it goes on very smoothly it doesn't the texture is a little bit softer than the professional uh, it doesn't feel uh, like silicone it feels more like a moisturizer but the minute you apply it you can see how the, the pores basically just kind of disappear and um, this one the scent is very uh, light it, it does have fragrance but it's not something that's you know too strong or too overwhelming um, the other option is this one from Catrice and I think this is fairly new this is the prime and fine goodbye pores and this one you can find at Ulta it's about the same price as the other one as, as the Revlon and this one it does feel um, does a great job just like the other one but this one feels more like silicone which I don't mind but some people do um, and this one does have a very strong scent and I wish it didn't um, I typically don't mind strong smells I mean I like a lot of like um, higher-end products like Lancome and those I mean they they most of them come with like really strong scents so I you know I'm used to that I don't, I don't mind it uh, this one smells kind of a little bit like chemicals I, I don't know what it is but um, it just smells when you're applying it and then a couple seconds later it's gone and it stays on all day I really really love this product I um they have a couple of others addressing different um, skin skin problems um, but so far this is the only one that I've tried and the most important one that um, I'm gonna mention next uh, is this product that's a little bit pricey but it is so worth the investment this this powder is a life changer um, and especially if you use it in combination with the primers that I mentioned and if you do the skincare with the things that you know we talked about this powder even though it's pricey it's like magic it um, let me tell you what it is it's the Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> oh, let me see if I can open this sorry it's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish uh, skin perfecting powder sorry and I have it in number number two medium uh, this powder retails for $45 so like I said it's an investment and if I didn't struggle with large pores I probably wouldn't have bought this but I had heard great things about it and you know when they were having the VIB sale I finally just decided to go for it and um, I don't regret it and I will probably continue to buy it well as long as my pores you know are here and they are here to stay <laughs> um, this is this is the best thing that um, that I can use to um, you know to to improve the the look of the pores so highly recommend this so another thing that I always recommend is no no shimmers here in this area bronzers and blushes make sure that they are matte um, you can for me because my pores are like in this area I do use highlighters but I just kind of apply it up here really really high up where they don't come near where the highlighter doesn't come near my pores because if you apply a highlighter in that area it's just gonna bring the pores right out and it's gonna bring attention to them and uh, we're actually doing all this work to prevent that so uh, if you are going to use highlighter you be very strategic how you apply it and um, you know go in and build up and, and start off slowly and I, what I do is I just do up here and then I'll go around and put some up here because um, I don't have pores up there but if you do have pores in those areas then I, I don't recommend highlighting those areas because we will definitely accentuate that um, I guess we're gonna just now go on and, and put these things on my face so you can um, you know see how, how I apply it and I will probably do a close-up of like a before and after so you can see um, the difference I'll actually you know what I'm gonna do one side and then you'll see um, so you can see the pores and then the one side treated and one side untreated you, you know what I mean um, okay I'll be right back okay so a little bit closer now let's start with the uh, prime and fine Catrice pour, um, goodbye pores um, I'm just gonna apply it to one side of my face so that you guys can notice the difference and I just focus it in this area because that's where my and 
sometimes a little bit in the forehead although my pores are very minimal up there hardly noticeable but uh, like I said before my, my main problem is this side here so make sure you push it in okay once that's in we can move on to the foundation and like I said, this one from Benefit, the reason I bought it is, is because it says it's a blurring um, foundation. I think this one came out last year. But unfortunately, I picked up this, the, I picked up the wrong size, <laughs> the wrong color. Um, so I picked up number eight, which is I think medium dark, and I was too lazy to go back and change it, so I'm stuck with it. And today I'm just gonna mix it with this healthy foundation from Physicians Formula, which I really, really like as well. Let's give that a shake. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I mixed the foundation in the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna take that. Try to just stay on this side of the face. <laughs> okay, I decided that what I'm gonna do is put the other primer, the Revlon, on this side and we can do a comparison. It goes on a little pink at first, but as you blend it in, it starts to fade out. But it does leave a little bit of a cast. Um, I think I put too much today, that's why. So less is better if you mind um, you know the color changing a little bit so see how that's looking so much better right now so let's apply the foundation I what I should have done <laughs> Oh my god guys, bear with me. I really sometimes have no idea what I'm doing. I really appreciate your patience as I figure this stuff out. Doing YouTube is not easy and I've said this before. It looks easy but it's not. Um, so there it is. And so now uh, let me go in and put the powder on that side that I you know, before I do that, I'm just going to put concealer and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I put some concealer and um, we're just going to go with the powder now on the other side and finish that up. I actually forgot to set my under eyes so I'm gonna do that real quick okay now that my um, concealer is already set and I've set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, powder let's move on to bronzer the Neutrogena healthy skin uh, bronzer and sorry I am all over the place today my brushes like I said, this room is a mess and um, things are all over the place. This bronzer has two sides. One is lighter than the other. I'm just dipping into the darker side. I probably should have bought the shade higher, but it's a fine fine. a little more and 
now we can move on to the blush the Catrice um, waterproof sweatproof There you have it. This is um, all the products that uh, I use to help me with pores. I'm just going to finish uh, my makeup off uh, screen. The rest of my makeup, which is not related to large pores, so I'm going to do that off camera and I will uh, come back for the outro. Okay. Okay, guys, here's the completed look. I uh, used the uh, Dose of Color Desi and KD collaboration for my eyes. For my brows, I used the L'Oreal uh, Brow Definer. For my lips, I used two colors from ColourPop. I used um, Appy and LA Lady. So this one, the darker one, I just put all over my lips. And then I used the lighter one and I placed it in the center sort of to give them some dimension. And then for my highlighter, I used also this um, Super Shock highlighter from ColourPop and the color is parasol these are really um, light I really recommend it and just to set my face I used a wet and wild uh, setting spray okay guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope you learned a little something today that will help you if you struggle with the same problem um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I hope you will decide to come back and if you have any co comments or questions uh, please leave them down below because it might help other people that are you know trying to find answers as well so uh, we can all just help each other so don't be shy and uh, leave some comments and I will see you on my next video take care bye